There's a lot of rules in menswear. You shouldn't wear this with this, or you shouldn't wear such and such a garment in such and such an environment. On the one hand, it's useful to know that, but ultimately, it's about having fun with it. For as long as I can remember, I've been surrounded by beautiful textiles and wonderful cloth, and that's something that stuck with me, and something that I was desperate to do when I grew up and started work. I wasn't actually able to work with my father, but I was very much aware of what he did growing up, and I was hugely influenced by that, by him. And I wanted to find a way that I could take that up and, and I suppose do something that was going to be relevant for today and for the future. My father started tie making very young. He was more or less straight out of school. He began cutting swatches when he was 17 on German Street. And there's something of a parallel there as I started cutting swatches when I was 18 on Savile Row. None of the family have actually worked for one another, but uh, nonetheless, we've all, all individually wanted to go into the industry. Drake's has always had its own style. Uh, our own handwriting. We like to think that it's something that you could wear today, but equally, it, it's something that you could wear in 10 or 20 years' time. Not dissimilar to something like the Seamaster. They're, they're, it's something that will, that will go on and on. Not something faddish, but something that will really stand the test of time. The first watch I can ever remember wearing is a watch that my father brought me back from Tokyo, and it was this wonderful olive military watch with a NATO strap, and I still have it today. Though I suppose I've somewhat expanded on, on the collection. I'm not a diver myself, but I don't think that means I can't wear a diver's watch. There's, there's something about the history of that whole period of watches that is just so fascinating. And the dive watches were for these great pioneers, and the Seamaster 300 in particular for me is just as strong as ever, and actually probably more so than ever. And the more you see newer watches coming onto the market, the more you really appreciate the old ones. And I think fine clothing shares a great deal of similarity to fine watchmaking in that each component of the final piece is meticulously designed and produced by a specialist, by a, by a great craftsperson, to the highest degree of accuracy possible. We make in the heart of London, we've always made in the heart of London, it's part of who we are. We're proud of that, but we do that because we work here and we want to be connected to what we make and we have wonderful craftspeople here who have decades of experience. We never look to see how we can make something cheaper. It's all about sourcing the best possible raw materials, making the best product we can without compromise. And we look forward to going on and doing that in many years to come.